that. Yeah. Now you can give your spiel. My spiel. Okay. Your spiel about Jesus Christ. Okay, in the Gospels, it is stated that Jesus was, was raised in Galilee, born in Bethlehem, in the Jewish protectorate state under the Romans back in the day when King Herod the Great was around, and that was under rule, Roman rule, and that he went to the temple. And he was there with the scribes and the Pharisees of the time when he was a kid, and he, he was learning from them, and he was philosophizing with them. So that makes him a Jew going to temple when the temple was there and learning to be a rabbi with his day job being a carpenter. Jesus is Jewish. Mm -hmm. Christianity is based off a Jewish traditionalist set of values and philosophy. Yet for millennia, people who are anti-Semitic, skinheads, uh, KKK, Nazis, fascism, and fascism, and all the rest, and Bolsheviks and shit like that, because, yeah, if you look at what the Communist parties of Russia and of other states have done in the East of Europe, if you were Jewish and you weren't towing the party line, you were persecuted. And if you were to towing the party line, you were persecuted. Just look at Fiddler on the Roof. Prog pogroms, ghettos, they were all things done to put Jews in boxes and labels. Put people out in label areas. Put labels on what they can do, who they can associate with, what kind of people they are labeled to be. Labeling cultures, labeling ethnic groups, labeling period is a dangerous thing to see. And yet, it's all around us and New Age thinking. You guys don't stop to think about where all that shit came from. The black, dark roots of higher intellectual concept of new societies. And yet man, 2,000 years ago, didn't want to change the world. Didn't want to change his religion. All he wanted to change was people's attitudes. Everything in the Gospels that Jesus was teaching was like, be better to your enemies. What good is it if you are good to your friends and family when you should be good to your enemies as well, turning the other cheek? That's, that's a little hard, isn't it? To uh, hate somebody and yet try to treat them as you would want them to treat you. It's a inner change. A social change on a personal level and somehow over the centuries power mongers twisted it does Christianity have blood on it yeah it does but every I do mean every religion has blood and it's not the philosophy behind Christ teaching that's that fault it's ours Aristocrats, petty people, petty minded little fiefdom mentalities decided long after he was gone that they wanted a piece of the pie. You want to you get into heaven and you were evil? Well, we'll just sign this little piece of paper, we'll drain it by the pulp, and you get your indulgence. You don't like that idea? You make your own splinter group of Christianity that rejects that. If in the East, people are more visual. They need physical proof. They need to see things. So iconography was is used. They get the point across. And other people say, no, that's the wrong way to do it. So therefore we hate you and they split off from Christianity more. It's just human nature. People blame faith for politics. Do you think these people have any idea what you're talking about? Right, sure, they, they should. So when I see all these fucking 
Mexican-owned pickup trucks with stickers of Jesus on the back and praying hands. So you mean to say that the Mexicans are Jewish? Yeah. We are following, I mean, and they're claiming the to be Catholic, but they're following a Jew, right? Yeah. It's grassroots. Christianity is a Jewish philosophy. Therefore, and if we follow the philosophy of a Jew, we are Jews. You're Jews. Same thing with the, like I was trying to say before, the skinheads. They're claiming that these people are not God-bearing men. They reject the Christ, and they are bad, the blacks, the Jews. And yet, they... They don't see the hypocrisy. They don't see the hypocrisy because Jesus was a Jew. Yeah. And when they say, and how they reject the Christian ideals, this is a, this is a hillbillies now, folks, who uh, reject uh, Jews. They don't like Mexicans. They don't like the blacks. They Jim Crow laws. But yet all of them all follow the a Jew, which is Jesus Christ, right? Right. Jesus was a Jew. He was a rabbi because he taught in the temple. He taught in the synagogues. He gave his speeches on the road. Hey, skinheads. Hey, Mexicans and Catholics. They're Jews. You're Jews. You we go to follow church. the philosophy of a Jew. Follow the philosophy of a Jew. So therefore, Jewish. That makes you Jewish. Sorry to break your... <laughs> to burst your bubble, folks, including our skinhead friends and our Mexican friends and all our other friends who are in these splintered groups and reject the Christ and all that other stuff or go with them. So basically we're saying, again, the skinheads, the Nazis, the fascists, who has some sort of pseudo-Christian beliefs would be amongst the first people to put Jesus Christ in an oven, correct? Yeah, because he's different. He's not different. And the people that's doing this are following a Jew. Supposedly. Christians. Yeah. Yet they turn back, turn their backs on his philosophy because it's too hard. They want power. Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm.